So how does the Flow Midori technique work? With the Flow Midori, you're not gonna be counting down, you're gonna be counting up. So you'll press the start for your stopwatch and then you'll see how long you work before you start to lose a little bit of concentration. And once you lose that concentration, pause your timer, see how long you worked and divide that by five and that becomes the length of your break. So let's say I kept concentrated for a whole hour. That means I'm gonna have a 12 minute break and I can keep doing this. And what you'll start to notice is that the time that you stay focused is actually gonna decrease as you keep studying for longer. So after a few cycles, you actually need to stop for a while and have a longer break so that you can recoup from that. This is so, so important because what this actually means is that you're going to be working at your max capacity when you actually sit down to study, which is what matters. So, you know, if you think about it as a car engine, you know, it needs to be oiled up, it needs to be repaired, it needs to be kept checked up on so that it's always working at its max efficiency. So this system is always getting re-oiled. Why would you wanna be studying if you're studying at a lower capacity when you could just take a small break and come back full throttle? That's what we're talking about here.